If you are still wondering what to get the kids for the holidays, you are in luck. Why not give them some toys that can be fun, but also educational at the same time? Children's author and educational expert Melissa Williams is here to share some educational Christmas gifts, something that you can still get even though it's kind of last minute. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I had such a fun time picking out these things mm -hmm. that fundamentally toys because everything in the store is so tactile, hands-on. Yeah. It's great for while the kids are at home, right before the holidays mm -hmm. and making that transition anyway. So this one here is one of my favorites because it's for all ages. The plush craft. Yes, it's a push pillow where you can actually, it's no so, okay. and you can take these little petals, mm -hmm. push them in by number so that your child can make a pattern. So there's no mistakes made mm. because it's determined on whatever pattern they want to make. So like paint by number only with... Push by number. Very exactly. Cool. So it's very, you know, satisfactory at the end because mm -hmm. they're able to complete it and feel a sense of accomplishment. Nice. Yeah, Melissa, it's also really important, right, for the kids to actually touch yes, the whole thing. Yes, everything is so tactile the store so that's what I love because they're really interacting with everything and with the adults so we have a make an art mistake book ah, and okay. this is from the Museum of Modern Arts and they have it there as well and a lot of the things in this book are really just to invoke creative expression it's for kids eight and up it's great for adults it's all about creating different lines different faces doing things without creating uh, circles and doing things with squares there's so no wrong answer there's no yeah. wrong answer from the mind, through the hands, uh -huh. to the art. Exactly. You've been doing a lot of stories, too, about how coloring and inside the lines and drawing is really mm -hmm. good for adults, too. So that's yes. a good way to interact with your child. If you're looking for those adult coloring books, you know, that's where you get them, I too. I love those. I know. They're so <laughs> much fun. <laughs> And then this one's really great because it's all about the pattern. So if you were to take mm -hmm. a couple of these little dots here, right. the red, yellow, and the blue. Dots. So if you were going to start mm -hmm. and just put a dot anywhere on this on this card right here. Anywhere. Right there. Well, on the actual okay, circle. See? There see? we go. <laughs> I was failed. too literal. <laughs> I know. So <laughs> if you do a red dot on blue, uh -huh. that means the pattern has to be different. So you could do a blue dot on red right there. All right. But go ahead and, and do that yellow. Oh, ah, no, you're wrong. That done. That's wrong. We gotta switch that one like that. There we go. So it's all about creating those patterns. It's funny gotcha. how I got mine right on the first try. Oh, uh, Rita got right. it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm the loser. A little bit of cheating. <laughs> bit Again. Of cheating. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's not about winning, right? <laughs> Senorita Molly, I'm liking that. Yeah, so we have all types of books for the kids. We have books in Spanish, of course, as mm -hmm. well. And then a lot of the different art books. And then this activity right here is probably okay. going to be my favorite mm -hmm. just because it's story. And I love story and mm -hmm. creating different types of scenarios and and conflicts so if you were going to take your cards i'm probably right going to screw this up again but okay. we'll try all right <laughs> and then read if you take your cards uh -huh. right, we have the lava card right here all right and what would you do with your cards to overcome a problem like lava in your living room basically think big uh I would put a big ice cube on it. There we go. Perfect. I would, I would wear my spacesuit. Oh, you would wear hey. your spacesuit to get through it. So now we're going to provoke conversation with adults and children because this could turn into an actual story, and mm -hmm. that's the start of the story. Let's try the lion. I got it. Box of chocolates. Yes. Oh, Eat the nice. Chocolate. Uh, exactly. Uh, oh, well, I, I, if chocolate wasn't enough, then maybe some ice cream. I know. Okay. So, and then we also have the bees. What would you do with the bees? Skunk. Ah. Oh, well, uh, a barrel. <laughs> a put barrel. Those in a barrel. What was between the skunk and the log? <laughs> well, I had a crystal ball, a bathtub, and a flute. A flute. What do you do with a kite? Fly a kite when the bees are after you? You can Maybe fly so. over them. So there's all different types of options. And then for the older kids, there's the how to tell a story, and you roll dice. And this one, it oh, takes cool. a lot of prep, but mm -hmm. once you uh -huh. get it, it is one of my favorite games out of all. I actually have one of these at home because I love it so much. And these are the kinds of things that, I don't want to say require, but, but you know, it gets parents involved with their kids. Mm -hmm. And that's the big piece here. And there's here. a huge connection there. Yes. I so you really think outside the box with some of these games, too. So it gets your, you know, your brain going, especially while you're on a holiday break. Exactly. And that creativity is just so important, mm -hmm. especially getting off the electronics for the mm -hmm. eight hours mm -hmm. a day that oh my goodness, kids, yeah. while they're at home, are on electronics. So this is one of those ways to keep them entertained for a long time. All right, Melissa. Get them talking as well. Thanks so much yes. for that. Thanks so much.